Hello everyone. In this video, I will try to solve the mystery around what is a Azure tenant, what are subscriptions and how different roles which we have in Azure apply to these. So first of all, the question comes, what is tenant? Tenant represents your organization. It's an Azure AD instance as well. So whenever you set up for tenant in Azure, you get an Azure AD instance with a default name which ends with on microsoft.com. So it could be anything dot on microsoft.com. In my case, if I go under my Azure portal, Azure AD, my tenant name is v2 anoops hotmail at on microsoft.com. After you have set up the tenant, you can sync your identities from your on-premise AD to your Azure AD tenant directory, which is on microsoft.com using Azure AD Connect. So there is a one-to-one -one relationship between your on-prem AD and the Azure AD tenant where you are syncing the identities. There are options where you can sync your on-premise Azure identity to two different tenants, but in that case, a single identity cannot be synced to two different Azure AD tenants. There could be a scenario that you have one OU syncing to one Azure AD tenant and the other OU syncing to other Azure AD tenant, but you cannot have one single identity synced to two different tenants. Once the identities are synced, uh, we have options by which we can add multiple custom domain names in our tenant. In my case, I have anubavinit.co.in added here. You can have others as well. So once the identities are synced, they will not use dot on microsoft.com. They will use their username dot and whatever custom domain you select. So you have option, you can add multiple custom domain names. Let me show you a demo on how we create a tenant. So here I am on my Azure AD. So this is my tenant v2 anoops hotmail at on microsoft.com. If I have to create another tenant, I will go to create a directory. I will select Azure AD next configuration. I will type in my organization name. And I will have to select initial domain name. So this initial domain name will be anything then it will depend on microsoft.com so we will say anubhav in it2 and then we have to select our country and region so once we click on next create so it has created another tenant for us as you can see i did not pay anything for the tenant so tenant creation is free after you have created the tenant you can use the services on azure so what are the different kind of services? We have uh, SaaS services like Intune O365, Dynamics 365, and we have PaaS services and IaaS services as well. So PaaS services could be your storage accounts, SQL servers, web services, apps. Your IaaS services are your machines running on on-prem like VMs or physical machines and you transfer them and run them on cloud. For running SaaS services like Intune, O365, Dynamic 365, we do not need any subscription. For running SaaS services, we need licenses. We do not need any subscriptions. So we have Azure AD tenant, we buy licenses for O365, Intune, and we can simply start using them. And we can pay for those licenses every month, and uh, that's how we can start using those services. We do not need any subscription. So what is a subscription? A subscription, I would say, is just a logical container. So you can have one Azure AD tenant, you can have only one subscription under it and all the IAs and PaaS services under it. So you can use subscription for different use cases, such as you can have one subscription for test environment, other for dev and other for production, or you can have department-wise subscription also. So all the costing for one department will show up under one subscription or all the costing for dev, test or production will show up under that particular subscription. Subscription can be of many types like you can have pay as you go subscription where you link a credit card and you just pay for whatever you use. You can have a free subscription as well wherein for a month you get $200 credit and you can use any of the Azure services for free for one month. 
an azure ad tenant can have multiple subscriptions under it but a subscription can only be linked to one azure ad tenant let's see if my azure ad tenant has been created yes i think it has been created here so if i go here i go to my organization name too so now my other tenant has been created anubav in it2.onmicrosoft.com if I have another on-premise AD, I can use Azure AD Connect and uh, sync the identities to this particular tenant. I could go to licenses. I could go to all products and I can buy licenses from here like Intune or my O365 licenses. I can have Azure AD Connect installed on my on-prem AD, which is not currently syncing to any other Azure AD tenant and sync my identities here assign licenses and start using SaaS services or I can go to subscriptions and I can go here and click on add and from here I can buy the subscription it could be pay as you go subscription which will link to my credit card like this one pay as you go subscription it will link my credit card and I can set up my servers my pass services here and it will be built through my credit card so I have no use of this uh, tenant so I will go ahead and delete it now we will look into our different uh, kind of permissions or roles we have in Azure and how they apply at uh, tenant level subscription level we will start from the very bottom which are classic admin roles so these classic admin roles are legacy roles and they are applied at subscription level so the person who is creating a subscription he by default becomes the service admin and he has access to all the resources under that subscription the service admin can create more co-admins which will have same access as service admin but they cannot add other co-admins to the subscription there is only one service admin per subscription level and we can have up to 200 co-administrators per subscription level apart from these two service admin and co-admin admin roles we do have another one which is called account administrator and this is one per azure account so whenever you set up azure account the id which by which you are setting up azure account becomes your account admin the account admin manages your all the subscriptions in that particular account he can create new subscriptions so whenever account admin creates new subscription he by default becomes a service admin i will go in my azure portal and show you where we can see this service admin and co-admin roles i will go to management groups and this is my pay as you go subscription i will go to i am and go under classic administrator so we see here that my service administrator is global administrator at anubhavinit.co.in and my co-administrator is anubhav sharma at anubhavinit.co.in before i go into my next azure rbac roles which we can apply at subscription and at management group level so let me explain you the concept of uh, management groups the Azure management groups effectively they provide a scope above your subscriptions. So you can have one management group under which you can put in many subscriptions where you can set up access policies or compliance policies. So they will by default apply to all the subscriptions under it. So it's just a container. So let me show you a demo how we create a management group. So we'll go to management groups. So we just created this group one management group and we can move our subscription under it which is currently under root so i will click on move and select my group and now my subscription is being moved into this logical container these azure rbac roles provide us uh, fine-grained access management to azure resources some of the roles are owner contributor reader backup coordinator there are around 70 plus uh, Azure RBAC roles. So for example, reader one only has access to view the resources. Contributor can create and manage all type of resources. 
but he cannot grant access to others on those resources. O owner role will have full access to all the resources and, and he can also delegate access to others. So if I go on my Azure portal and I look at my subscription level, go under I am, I will go to role assignments and I can click on add and add a role assignment here. So these are the roles which I have here. There are a lot of them. For example, this storage blob data reader, he only has access to read the blob data. So this is how you can assign these roles. So once you have identity sync from your own prem to your Azure ready tenant, you can assign these roles to those identities. Now the third one is our global admin and user access admin, which is applied at the root level. So a global admin is like owner, he has all the access and user access admin can only manage user access to Azure resources. Now at the last comes in Azure ready admin roles. So these roles apply at our tenant level and they control the permissions to manage Azure AD resources. Some of the examples are global admin, Intune admin, SharePoint admin. So let me show you in the portal from where we can set check these out. Uh, we can go to our Azure AD. We go to roles and administrators. So these are the default ones. So they could be SharePoint administrator, Intune administrator, application administrator. You can also create custom roles for Azure AD admin roles as well as Azure RBAC roles. So now the question comes, do the Azure AD admin roles and Azure RBAC roles overlap? Because the Azure admin AD admin roles are applied at tenant level. So if I apply them at tenant level, will they give access to the subscriptions as well? So the answer is no. Azure AD admin roles are mostly applied to SaaS services like Intune O365 and Azure RBAC roles are applied to our subscriptions wherein we have IAS and PaaS resources. But there is one exception to that. The global admin can manage our Azure subscriptions and management groups as well. But for that, the global admin needs to get those permissions. By default, he doesn't have those permissions. So a global admin will log on to the portal. He will go to Azure AD, go to properties. And there on the very bottom, there is access management for Azure resources section under which he will have to click on yes. Once he selects yes and click on saves, then the global admin can elevate his permission to manage Azure resources as well. So this was a small video to explain the difference between tenant subscription and how different roles apply to them. I hope you like this video. Please uh, subscribe and press the bell icon for my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.